Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. Very excited today, bringing you APA Vintage Season Baseball and a collision of two definite heavyweights, and it's opening day for both teams. There's bunting everywhere. It's the daytime. It's natural grass. Beautiful. And... A couple of World Series winners. It's the 1955 Brooklyn Dodgers at the 1957 Milwaukee Braves. And that means, of course, my friends, we are at Milwaukee County Stadium. It's the start of a two-game series to open the APA Vintage Season for these two teams. And I am very excited to be bringing it to you. APA Vintage Season Baseball contains... All vintage original cards. We've got original boards and books. We are ready to go uh, with this one. And I am looking forward. I might bring you both games of this two-game series because it's going to be fun. And, of course, now that I've said that, there will be two 10-to-1 blowouts. <laughs> but, but I think it's going to be good. Uh, before we get to today's starting lineups, don't forget to check out channel membership. The link is in the description for this video. With channel membership, you get access to exclusive members-only content. You also get discounts on the secondary store. $10 off per set, $2 off per individual team, and a free gift for me every month in the form of PDFs that I create for different cards and dice sims. So check that out so let's not waste any more time let's get to milwaukee county stadium and do the collision between the 55 dodgers and the 57 braves for the visiting dodgers jim gilliam will lead off at second base Pee Wee reese bats second at short duke snyder bats third in center field jackie robinson bats fourth in left field roy campanella bats fifth he'll catch Gil Hodges bat six. He's going to play first base. Carl Frillo bat seventh. He'll be in right field. And Don Hoke bats eighth. He's the star of City Slickers, and he will play third base. On the mound, it's Don Newcomb. In 1955, Nuke was a B-grade pitcher. The Dodgers in this game have 43 defensive points. That makes them a fielding one. All right, for the homestanding Braves, Bill Bruton leads off in center field. Red Shane Deans bats second at second base. Hank Aaron bats third in right field. Eddie Matthews bats fifth. He'll clean up. I'm sorry, plays third. He'll clean up. Joe Adcock bats fifth. He'll play first base. Wes Covington bats sixth. He's in left field. Del Crandall bats seventh. He's the catcher. And Johnny Logan bats eighth. He's a shortstop. The pitcher today will be Warren Spahn. He's a B-grade pitcher in 1957 with a Z modifier. All right, we are ready to go in this one. Lots of fun ahead. Uh, to play vintage Appa season baseball, we got our two D6s. The red die is the tens digit. The white die is the ones digit. And as Heath Ledger once said, here we go. Jim Gilliam steps in the batter's box. Spawn delivers and walks him to start the game. We are underway in Milwaukee. Pee Wee Reese comes up. The stretch by Spawn and the delivery to Pee Wee is hit to center. Billy Bruton is there for out number one. Duke Snyder comes to the plate. Lefty lefty matchup. Braves infield looking for a double play. The stretch by Spahn and the delivery to the Duke is drilled to left field and it's going to get over Wes Covington's head. One hops the wall. Wes has some trouble with it. They're going to wave Gilliam home. Snyder heading to third, sliding with a triple. one nothing Dodgers in the top of the first inning. Here's Jackie Robinson. The Braves infield is going to play at normal depth. The stretch by Spahn and the delivery to Jackie Robinson is hit in the air to right. 
Aaron back a few steps. He's going to make the catch. Snyder tags and scores, and it's 2 nothing Dodgers with two outs in the top of the first. Here comes Roy Campanella. Warren Spahn kicks and deals to Campy, and he hits it to right. Another chance for Aaron. It's a can of corn, and he's got it for out number three. But in the first, the Dodgers get two runs on one hit. We go to the bottom of the first, and it's the Dodgers, two. And the Braves coming to bat. Here's Don Newcomb. He'll face Bruton, Shane Deanst, and Aaron in the bottom of the first. The delivery from Nuke to Bruton is popped up. Pee Wee Reese in short left field is going to take it for out number one. Red Shane Deans now. Newcomb kicks and deals to the brave second baseman, and he takes it for a strike. Next delivery from Newcomb is another strike. He's ahead in the count. And this one is swung on by Shane Deanst and hit to Pee Wee at short. Pee Wee's up with it and he throws low to Hodges who cannot scoop it. Shane Deanst will reach on an error on an E6 that will put red on at first base. Here's Hank Aaron. Nuke on the stretch. The pitch to Aaron is a ground ball to Gilliam at second. He goes to Pee Wee for one, and the relay to Hodges is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing 4 6 3 double play turned by the Dodgers. And we've got one in the books with your score Brooklyn 2 and Milwaukee nothing. Hodges, Ferrillo, and Hoke coming up in the top of the second. Spawn kicks and deals to Gil Hodges. And hey, struck him out. One down in the Brooklyn second. Now it's Carl Ferrillo. Don Hoke is on deck. Spawn winds and deals to Ferrillo. And Carl Ferrillo swings late and hits it over the first base bag past Joe Adcock. Going to get down in the right field corner. Ferrillo around first. He'll cruise into second with a one-out double. And Brooklyn has a chance to extend their lead. Spawn the stretch. The pitch to Don Hoke. Is a ground ball to second. Red Shane Deanst gloves it and throws to... Adcock as Ferrillo advances to third with two outs. Now it'll be Newcomb. Don Newcomb was quite a hitter as a pitcher, and his card reflects it for 1955. Spawn the stretch, the delivery to Nuke. Is a line drive ticketed for right field, but caught by Red Shane Deanst. Nice play by Red. The Dodgers are turned away in the second. We go to the bottom of two, and it's Brooklyn two and Milwaukee nothing. Uh, coming up in the Braves' second will be Eddie Matthews, Joe Adcock, and Wes Covington. Newcomb winds and deals to Eddie Matthews. It's hit in the air to right. Can of corn for Carl Ferrillo, and he's got it for out number one. Newcomb kicks and deals to Adcock. Base hit for the Rays' first baseman. There's the first hit for Milwaukee in the game. One on, one out now for Covington. Don Newcomb the stretch. The pitch to Wes Covington is a comebacker. Knocked down by Newcomb. Picks it up. His only play is to first to Gil Hodges. They get Covington as Adcock moves up to second base with two outs. Now it's Crandall. Newcomb the stretch. The pitch to the Braves catcher is ball four. Two are on with two outs now. And the Braves shortstop. Johnny Logan comes to the plate. Warren Spahn would be next. Newcomb the stretch. The pitch to Logan. Hit in the air to center. And deep. Back goes Snyder. Warning track. And he's got it for out number three. 
Almost an extra base hit for Logan, but no. We go to the third, and your score is Brooklyn 2 and Milwaukee nothing. Spawn gets the top of the Dodger order in the third. Gilliam, Reese, and Snyder. Warren Spawn deals to Junior Gilliam. Ju Junior, I think we were still calling him Junior in 55. Ground ball to short. This is Logan charging, throwing on the run to Adcock, and they get Gilliam. One down. Here's Pee Wee. Spawn the, the wind up, sorry, and the delivery to Pee Wee Reese is a jam job pop-up on the infield dirt. Johnny Logan is going to take it for out number two. Here's the Duke. He tripled in a run in the first inning. The pitch, hey, struck him out, and it's Warren Spahn's first one, two, three inning in the third here. We go to the bottom of three, and it's Brooklyn two and Milwaukee nothing. Don Newcomb. We'll face Spahn, Bruton, and Shane Deanst in the Milwaukee third. Newcomb kicks and deals to Spahnie, and he struck him out. That's Newcomb's first strikeout on the day. One gone in the Milwaukee third. Billy Bruton now. Newcomb winds and deals. Hit to left. Over by the foul line. On the run is Jackie Robinson, and he's got it for out number two. Here's Shane Deans now with nobody on. Newcomb winds and deals, and Red Shane Deans with a base hit. It's the second one for Milwaukee today. They have a two-off base runner, and it brings up Hank Aaron as the tying run. Newcomb the stretch, and the pitch to Aaron is ball four. Another base runner for the Braves brings up Eddie Matthews. Very dangerous third baseman for Milwaukee. Newcomb the stretch. Adcock would be next. The delivery is going to be a line shot knocked down by Hoke. He keeps it on the infield, but the bases will be loaded with Braves. Shane Deans to third, Aaron to second, Matthews safe at first on the infield hit, and here's Joe Adcock. We're in the bottom of the third, 2 nothing Brooklyn. Newcomb the stretch, the pitch to Adcock. I struck him out on a bender, and that's going to retire the side. The Braves leave him loaded in the third. We go to the fourth inning with your score, Brooklyn 2 and Milwaukee nothing. Newcomb gets off the hook in the third. Haven't talked about Milwaukee's defense. They have 41 defensive points. They're starting the game as a fielding one, as are the Dodgers. In the fourth, Jackie Robinson, Roy Campanella, and Gil Hodges. Four, five, six coming up for Brooklyn. Spawn kicks and deals. Pop up off Jackie Robinson's bat. This is Red Shane Deanst in short center field. He's going to make the catch for out number one. Roy Campanella comes to the plate. Roy's 0 for 1. Spawn winds and deals. Base hit for Campanella into left. One on with one out for the Dodgers, and Gil Hodges comes up. Hodges is 0 for 1. Spawn the stretch. The pitch to Hodges is a comebacker. Spawn gloves it, throws to Adcock. Campanella moves to second with two outs, and here's Ferrillo. Don Hoke would be next. Warren Spawn the stretch and the delivery to Ferrillo, and there's a base hit to right field. Drops in front of Henry Aaron. Around third is Campanella. He's going to score. It's 3 nothing Brooklyn. In the top of the fourth, Don Hoke comes to the plate. Spawn the stretch, the pitch to Hoke. Ground ball to Logan at short. He's going to go the short way to Shane Deanst, and that's going to retire Brooklyn. But in the fourth, they get a run. The Dodgers do. On two hits, they leave one. We go to the bottom of four, and it's Brooklyn three, Milwaukee nothing. Newcomb will face Covington, Crandall, and Logan, the six, seven, eight batters in Milwaukee's order, in the bottom of the fourth. Newcomb winds and deals, and Covington hits it to center. Into right center, and Duke Snyder makes a nice running catch. 
for out number one. Here's Newcomb to Crandall. Dell with a base hit to left. One on with one out for the Braves. They have threatened but failed to have failed to break through against Newcomb to this point. Logan is up. Spawn is on deck. Newcomb the stretch. The pitch to Johnny Logan is a ground ball to Pee Wee at, at uh, excuse me to Hoke at third. Don goes to Gilliam for one in the relay to Hodges is in time for a rally killing soul crushing around the horn and inning ending five four three double play turn by Brooklyn. We go to the fifth with your score the Dodgers three and the Braves nothing. Warren Spahn will face Newcomb, Gilliam, and Reese nine one two in Walter Alston's order here today. Warren Spahn winds and deals to Nuke, and a base hit for Don Newcomb into right field. Drops in front of Henry Aaron. Newcomb is aboard with a base hit. Here's Jim Gilliam. Well, a lot of options here. I think a fourth run looks pretty big. So, spawn the stretch, the pitch to Gilliam, and Jim squares to bunt. He bunts it too hard back to spawn, who whirls and throws to Logan, covering at second, and they get the fielder's choice on Newcomb. Gilliam beats the rap at first, and there's one on with one out for Brooklyn. Here's Pee Wee. And Brooklyn's not done with the base running hijinks. Spawn the stretch and the delivery to Pee Wee. There goes Gilliam. And this is taken for a strike. The throw by Crandall down to Shane Deanst is in time. They gun down Jim Gilliam. And now there's nobody on base. Pee Wee's still at the plate. Duke Snyder would be next. Spawn winds and deals to Pee Wee, and there's a base hit to center. Spawn's had base runners all over the place, but he's hanging in there. Here's Duke Snyder. Spawn the stretch. Duke is one for two. The delivery is ball two. Next delivery to Snyder is hit in the air to right. Over by the foul line is Henry Aaron, and he's got it for out number three. We're halfway through this one. Bottom of the fifth coming, and your score, Brooklyn 3 and Milwaukee nothing. Newcomb will face Spahn, and then the top of the Milwaukee order in the fifth, Bruton and Shane Deanst. Spahnie's 0 for 1. Newcomb winds and deals to him, and it's a fly ball to center. Coming in a few steps is Duke Snyder, and he's got it for out number 1. Here's Bruton. The pitch to him is a ground ball to Gilliam. Gilliam to his left, cuts it off from going into right field, plants and throws to Hodges for out number two. Red Shandings up there now. He's one for two. Henry Aaron would be next. The pitch. Red grounds it to short. Pee Wee charges, throws on the run to Hodges, and that'll retire the Braves in the fifth. We go to the sixth, and it's Brooklyn three, Milwaukee nothing. Spahn will face Robinson, Campanella, and Hodges in the top of the sixth for Brooklyn. Jackie's 0 for 1. Spahn delivers to him, and Robinson hits one over the first base bag past a diving Adcock. Going to rattle around in the right field corner. Aaron's got to go dig it out of there. Robinson with a leadoff double in the sixth. Here's Roy Campanella. Spawn the stretch, the pitch to Campy. Fly ball to left. In a few steps is Wes Covington, and he's got it for out number one. Now it's Gil Hodges. Frillo on deck. Spawn the stretch, the pitch to Gil is a fly ball to left. Covington toward the line. It will make the catch for out number two. Robinson holds at second, and here's Carl Ferrillo. He's two for two with a ribby today. Spawn the stretch and the pitch to Ferrillo. 
is a ground ball to Logan at short. Johnny throws to Adcock, and that will retire the side in the sixth. The Dodgers get a leadoff double and fail to move him. We go to the bottom of six, and your score is Brooklyn three and Milwaukee nothing. Meat of the order for the Braves coming up in the sixth. It's Aaron Matthews and Adcock. Don Newcomb winds and deals to Henry Aaron, and that's ball four. The hammer trots down to first, and Eddie Matthews comes to the plate. The stretch by Newcomb and the delivery to Matthews. Aaron is not running, and it's a ground ball to Gilliam at second. Jim flips to Pee Wee for one. The relay to Hodges is late as Matthews beats the rap at first. One on with one out from Milwaukee, and here's Joe Adcock. Newcomb the stretch. The pitch to Adcock is a base hit. Ah, this goes to right field. Around second is Matthews. He's going to go to third, and the Braves will have runners at the corners with one out here in the sixth. This is their best scoring chance since they loaded the bases in the third. Wes Covington comes to the plate. The Dodger infield is going to play back for a potential double play. Newcomb the stretch and the delivery. Del Crandall on deck and a base hit. Uh, no, it's caught by Snyder. He robs Covington with a nice running catch. Matthews will tag and score. It's 3-1, to one, Dodgers. But that is a big catch by Snyder. Adcock holds at first. There's two outs now for Crandall. 3-1 Dodgers in the bottom of the sixth. That ball was ticketed for extra bases. Newcomb the stretch. The pitch to Crandall is ball four. He walked him. Two Braves on now with two outs for Logan. Braves fans looking for another base hit. Warren Spahn would be next. Um, Adcock at second, Crandall at first, Newcomb the stretch, the delivery is hit to Pee Wee at short. He's going to flip the short way to Gilliam at second and retire Milwaukee in the six. But the Braves do break through. They get a run on just one hit. Um, and we go to the seventh. With your score, Brooklyn 3 and Milwaukee 1. Hoke, Newcomb, and Gilliam coming up against Spawn in the 7th. This may be Spawn's last inning. We'll see. Don Hoke is 0 for 2. The wind and the delivery by Spahn is hitting the air to left. Covington's been busy. He's got it for out number one. Now it's Newcomb. Uh, the Dodger right-hander is one for two. He's a left-handed batter. Spahn winds and deals to him, and it's a comebacker to Spahn. He gloves it and throws to Adcock for out number two. Here is Jim Gilliam. Gilliam's 0 for 2. The wind and the delivery to him is a fly ball to center. Bruton under it. He's got it for out number 3. That is Warren Spahn's first 1-2-3 inning in this game. Time to stretch him out in Milwaukee with your score. The Dodgers 3 and the Braves 1. I don't know what to do here. Spahn... Could hit for him. It's the bottom of the seventh. But he's only down two. I'm going to let him bat. If he was down three, I'd hit for him. But he's down two. He's leading off the inning. Bruton and Shane Deans will follow. Don Newcomb winds and deals. And Spawn with a base hit over first. Going to go down in the right field corner. Warren Spawn with a leadoff double. And I guess I don't have to second guess myself. Here's Billy Bruton. 
The Dodger bullpen is going to get work, and it's Clem Labine starting to throw their ace short man. Billy Bruton's 0 for 3. Newcomb the stretch and the pitch to Bruton. Hey, struck him out with some high cheese. That's Don Newcomb's third strikeout on the day. Spahn remains at second. Here's Red Shandienst. Henry Aaron is on deck. Newcomb the stretch, the pitch to Shane Deanst is ball four. Well, one more batter. Aaron at the plate, first and second. Aaron is the potential go-ahead run. Newcomb the stretch and the pitch to the hammer. Is ball four, the bases are loaded, and that brings up Eddie Matthews. The Braves loaded the bases in the third, but failed to score. Newcomb got off the hook. We'll see if he does it this time. Adcock is on deck. Newcomb the stretch. The pitch to Eddie Matthews is a fly ball to center. Duke Snyder is under it. Spawn is tagging. Snyder makes the catch. The throw home to Campanella is cut off at the mound by Hodges. Spawn will score, and it's 3-2 Brooklyn. That will bring up Adcock with Shane Dean still at second and Aaron still at first. They're going to leave him in. Covington is next, or would be next. Two outs. Newcomb the stretch and the pitch to Adcock, and I struck him out. Got him with a bender, and that will retire the side, but not before the Braves load the bases and get another run. On one hit, say it with me, oh, those bases on balls. We go to the eighth, and your score is Brooklyn 3 and Milwaukee 2. Warren Spahn strolls out for the eighth inning. He'll face Reese, Snyder, and Robinson for Brooklyn here in the eighth. Pee Wee is one for three. Spahn kicks and deals, and Pee Wee hits a jam job dying quail to left. Here comes Wes Covington, and he's got it for out number one. Duke Snyder's one for three. Spawn kicks and deals, and I struck out the Duke. Second strikeout for Spawn, and Jackie Robinson comes to the plate. Spawn winds and deals to the one for two Robinson. Can of corn to center. Billy Bruton back a step. Now he's back one more, and he's got it for out number three. Dodgers fail to score in the eighth. We come to the bottom of the eighth, and it's Brooklyn three and Milwaukee two. Newcomb will face Covington, Crandall, and Logan. If anybody gets on, it'll be the pitcher spot in the bottom of the eighth. Clem Labine looks ready in the Brooklyn bullpen. Covington leads it off. Newcomb kicks and deals. Comebacker to Newcomb. He gloves it, throws to Hodges for out number one. Del Crandall is one for one with a couple of walks. Newcomb kicks and deals to Dell. Fly ball to the left. Jackie Robinson in his tracks will make the catch for out number two. Newcomb has walked one, two, three, four, five, six batters, but still leads three, two. Logan is up. Spawn is in the on deck circle. Newcomb winds and deals to Logan, and hey, struck out Johnny to retire the side in the eighth. We go to the ninth. It's Brooklyn three and Milwaukee two. Campanella, Hodges, and Ferrillo coming up. Five, six, seven for Brooklyn in the top of the ninth. Warren Spahn is back out there. Both pitchers have pitched a good game. All right, Campy's one for three. Spawn winds and deals to Campy, and it's to left and deep. Covington, warning track, wall, and it's gone. A 4-2 Dodger lead as they pick up a big insurance run right there. Gil Hodges comes up, 0 for three. 
Spahn kicks and deals and strikes out Hodges. Third strikeout for Spani and Ferrillo comes up at two for three. The wind and the delivery from Spahn, and there's a drive from Ferrillo into center and deep. Back goes Bill Bruton, warning track, wall, and it's gone, and Spahn appears fatigued here in the ninth. 5-2 Brooklyn. The uh, Braves' bullpen is cooking with Ernie Johnson and Don McMahon throwing. Don Hulk at the plate. The wind and the delivery from Spahn is a comebacker. Gloved by Spani, he throws to Adcock for out number two. Here's Newcomb with nobody on base. He's one for three. Spahn winds and deals to Nuke, and he struck him out. So Spahn gets out of the ninth, but not before the Dodgers add two to their lead on home runs by Campanella and Ferrillo. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and your score is Brooklyn 5 and Milwaukee 2. Spahn is due to lead off the Brooklyn ninth inning, and we're going to get a pinch hitter. It's going to be Hurricane Hazel. Now, this Hazel has nothing to do with Shirley Booth. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You can't beat a Shirley Booth reference, can you? Not easy to work that in, I'll tell you that. Um, and if you don't know who Shirley Booth is, do yourself a favor and Google it. Bruton will follow, then Shane Deanst. If anybody gets on, Aaron. 5-2 Dodgers. They need three outs to win on opening day. Clem Labine is ready in the bullpen. Newcomb winds and deals to Hazel. It's a ground ball to Hoke at third. He gloves it by the third base bag and fires across the diamond for out number one. Bill Bruton's 0 for 4. Newcomb winds and deals. And it's a comebacker to Don Newcomb. He takes a couple steps toward Hodges, throws him the ball for out number two. Now it's Shane Deanst, last chance saloon, Henry Aaron on deck. Newcomb winds and deals to Red, and there's a base hit. So Shane Deanst is aboard, and Aaron comes to the plate. Eddie Matthews would be next. Aaron can reach, Matthews would be the potential tying run. Newcomb the stretch, Aaron has walked three times and grounded into a double play. Newcomb, the stretch, the pitch to the hammer, is ball four, and we're going to get that tying run to the plate in Eddie Matthews. Joe Adcock would be next. 5-2 game. Alston just sitting in the dugout watching. Matthews, the stretch, or sorry, Newcomb, the stretch, the delivery to Matthews, is to center and deep. Back goes Snyder. Warning track. He's got it for out number three and the ball game. One more biscuit for breakfast, and Eddie Matthews ties the game right there. But no. Let's give you the totals on this opening day gem for the visiting and victorious Dodgers. Five runs, nine hits. And they committed one error. The Braves, two runs, seven base hits. They could have had a lot more with all those walks that Newcomb gave up, and they committed no errors. The winning pitcher is Don Newcomb. He is 1-0, and of course, on opening day. The loss goes to Warren Spahn. He is 0-1. Going to give the MVP of the game to, well, could give it to Ferrillo, but I'm going to give it to Newcomb for the gutty performance uh, containing the 57 Braves attack. 
Going to be back soon with game two of the series. It'll be the final game of the series, but this was so much fun. We're doing it again. It'll be uh, Carl Erskine against Lou Burdett, the pitching matchup. For now, from Milwaukee County Stadium, your score is the 1955 Dodgers 5, the 57 Braves 2. Hope you have a great evening. So long, everybody.